Hello fellow racers, your boy Vexed again. I'd like to welcome you back again to round three, race two this time at Red Bull Ring in Austria. This is a very, very soggy Red Bull Ring, so without further ado, we'll have a look at the grid. Grasshopper is on pole, Toten is second place, Wayne G is in third, Brian Moncani is fourth, Ice Chan fifth, Vexed is sixth, Flash Mexi seventh, Molson is eighth, Somerset Sarge is ninth, Dan Bailey is tenth, Palmer is eleventh, Boy Boosted twelfth, and Hodgie is thirteenth. <clears throat> so it looks like everybody actually opt in for the... Oh, no. So we've got one person on inter intermediate. So Raj is on intermediates. And Somerset Sarge is also on intermediates. Everybody else opt in for the wets. So without further ado, let's get into it. Claxon sounded. Oh, it looks like Wayne G. Wayne G with a false start there. I think Raj is going to have to make his way round him. So, yeah. Full start from Wayne G. Toen's going to take up that first position. Grasshopper following him in second. I think Brian McCartney. Brian McCartney's taken up that third place. Vexed has managed to make his way through the field to fourth. No, he's dropped down to fifth. So he's actually dropped back down to sixth, which was his starting position. Actually, three wide here at the moment. Dan Bailey, Molson, and Vexed. All three wide. Molson managed to get ahead of him. So Vexed slotting in behind for the minute. Dan Bailey's actually managed to uh, make the most of that. and. It looked like he'd gone through the sixth, but... Oh, it looks like everybody getting a little bit out of shape for that last turn. A little bit of sideways contact from a lot of the racers, but everybody... No one seemingly losing position. No incidents there, nobody's off the track, so... <clears throat> so Toten, Toten is still currently in first. I think he's going to be looking for the win in this one after Grasshopper managing to take the win in the first one. But I'm sure Grasshopper's definitely going to be challenging him. We've got Flash Mexi, aka the Rain Man, up into third place. Toten looking a little bit twitchy. Oh, big slide there from Toten. He managed to hold it there. It was a nice save there from Toten. Having a bit of a drift session. A little bit of squirrely under the brakes. That's where the cars become most unstable in the wet, is under braking. You have to brake it in a straight line. If you try and brake whilst turning, you just get massive understeer. Ah, Grasshopper actually looking like he's got the momentum over Toten. Is he going to manage to get it done into turn one? He's looking for that move. Not quite ahead. Yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't ahead enough to be able to go for it, so he slotted back in behind. Going to be looking for the switch back, I'm almost sure, almost certain, but no, nah, I didn't have the momentum. I think he actually went slightly into the back of Toten there, give Toten a bit of a boost. So yeah, Toten's still currently in first place, being chased down by Grasshopper in second. Grasshopper's being chased down by Flash, who's in third. Vexed has actually made it up to fourth, so Vexed on a bit of a charge. I think he started in sixth, he's managed to make his way to fourth. Grasshopper still trying to uh, still trying to challenge Tony for that first place, but he's dropped off slightly now. I think that little nudge that he gave him has definitely given Tony the advantage at the moment. Looking like DJ having to go defensive against Flash there. I think Flash was looking for the move up the inside, but not quite close enough to get it done. So Flash still here in third place. You see the headlights of Vex behind him though. Vex is starting to gain on him. Actually interesting to see uh, Flash go with the uh, majority of the grid. Normally he decides to go for an alternative strategy, but he's decided to run the wets, full wets in this race, as have most of the rest of the field. As I say, I think we had uh, Ice Chand and Somerset Sarge were the only two running intermediates. Oh, as Flash has a big moment, massive slide there from Flash. That's going to cost him. It does look like Vex is starting to get a lot closer than he was. <coughs> so after lap two, start of lap three, we have got Toten, followed by Grasshopper, followed by Flash Mexi. Vex has actually just set the fastest lap for 
Flash actually putting a fastest sector there as well. Always oh, nice contact between DJ and Flash. DJ's actually come back onto the racing line. That was silly. That was silly of him. There was contact between him and Vex. Nothing Vex could do there, so he's just carried on. To be fair, DJ probably should have gone to the left there. He should have stayed off the racing line. He knew that there was going to be other cars coming along, so you can't really blame Vex for that. Vex still now will try the challenge. Dan Bailey, he's got that inside. Dan Bailey's got a 0.5 second penalty. I think Vex has won the corner. He's definitely going to get past him once Bailey serves that penalty anyway, so he's settling back in for a minute. Dan Bailey moving up to third place. What a charge here from Dan Bailey. He's gone from midfield to all the way up to third place. Still being challenged there by Vex though. Vex is still on the back of him. Boy boosted. Boy boosted is up there in the mix as well. He's up in the top five. So I just wanted to see if Vex manages to get back through. And he has. Oh, that was close. Dan Bailey on ghosting just as Vex went past. I think there could have been contact there, but it was lucky that there wasn't. So Vex does move back up to third place. So hang on, we've actually got, we've had a change at the front, we've got Toten. Toten's starting to cement a massive lead now. He's actually putting the fastest lap as well with a 151.4. Boy Moncarni steals it away from him, he's in second place with a 151.2. Vex is there in third, Vex actually picking up a 0.5 second penalty there as well. Ah, oh, and he goes really deep, he's, he's outbroke himself. He's running deep, he's still ahead of Dan Bailey just. Dan Bailey will surely get past him when he serves that penalty though. Vex going defensive now. He's defending that inside line. Doesn't want Dan Bailey to try and sling it up the inside. Maybe not defending it as much as he should have done. Yeah, Dan Bailey actually thinking better of it though. So, oh, as Vex actually goes deep again. What is he doing? I'm not sure what Vex is doing. I think he keeps forgetting where to break. He's trying to break on the, on the dry breaking zones maybe. Not really sure. Anyway, six minutes into the race. Six and a half minutes into the race. So we will come back to these two in a minute. Dan Bailey though, Dan Bailey looking really strong in this wet race. Looks like Vex is actually trying to go around the outside, not going to get it done there. Is he going to get a switch back? He's looking like he's got the momentum, he's still right there. Neck and neck these two, having a right little battle. That was unlucky DJ, I'm sure there wasn't anything meant by that. I mean, to be fair, you probably should have stayed over to the left off the racing line, but Unfortunately, that's what happened. You came back onto the racing line and Vex was coming around the corner at the time. Just tagged the back of your bumper, but Flash, who made the initial contact, waited for you. So, so yeah, Dan Bailey. Dan Bailey managing to get through. He's actually picked up a whole second's worth of penalty, though. So, Dan Bailey is currently third. Vex is fourth. Boy boosted. Boy boosted. Having a really good race here. He's down to fifth. I think he started towards the back of the field, so... Having a really good race here as Boy Boosted. Wayne G, Wayne G's in sixth. Being hounded by Hodgy again. Houndy's, what, Houndy? Hodgy is all over the back of uh, Wayne G's bumper. Looked like he was going to go and look for the move into turn one, but I think they're all quite too close here, so... Again, thinking better of it. Intelligent driving there from Hodgy. It looks like the rain's starting to ease off a little bit, but... I think that might just be an illusion. Must say that is a very nice uh, library there, Hodgie, the old uh, Hambridge Transport Library, one of our sponsors, of course. So after that instant start, Grasshopper, he's managed to find his way back up to eighth, although he's going to lose that place to Palmer as he goes deep for that last turn. Palmer's managed to move through, so Palmer's gone down to eighth. Grasshopper is ninth. Somerset Sarge is tenth. Flash Mexi, Flash Mexi's eleventh. Obviously it was Flash and uh, DJ that had that coming together, I think it was on lap 3, I want to say. Molson, Molson's in 12th. He's starting to challenge Flash now as well though, he's starting to go down the inside, he's going to get past him. I think he might, he might have the momentum here. Roger's trying to follow through as well, but don't think he's quite close enough to capitalise, so... Yeah, Molson not actually managing to quite get past Flash, he's actually going to lose that position to Chand as well, I think, when he serves that penalty, so... Chan going to be promoted to 12th place. Some fantastic battles going on here, even in the wet. Oh, and oh, Chan, he's gone for that move. Even though Moulson's has got a penalty, he's gone for that move. He's managed to get it done. He's firmly got past Moulson now. He's onto the back of Flash Mexi, and uh, I'm sure he's going to be trying to get past Flash as well. 
Everyone looking a bit squirrely for that last section of turns. I think the cars do become quite unsettled through here, so everyone doing really well not to. I would like Grasshopper and Palmer having a bit of a come together. Not sure what happened there, but we've now got Grasshopper in 12th, Palmer is in 13th. So we've got on board with the race leader again. And look at that lead. Look at the massive lead that Totem's pulled out. Is there nothing that this man can't do? So actually losing out on that first place to DJ in the first race, but he is most definitely going to bring it home in first place in this one if he uh, manages to keep it on the track, which I think he probably will do. We haven't seen a lot of mistakes from Toten throughout the series and throughout the GT2 series, so... Very nice, consistent driving again from Toten. It looks like the rain has started to pick up again. It looked a little bit wobbly there, didn't it? I think the car was sliding on the uh, surface water. <coughs> Brian McCarney, Brian McCarney is still in second place. Still being chased down by Vex, but... Vex has got his uh, rear, miller, mir rear mirror full of, uh, full of Dan Bailey. Dan Bailey still on the charge, he still wants that third position. Vex ain't having none of it though, he's like, no, I am going to keep this third position, I deserve it. This will be my first podium in this series. If you want this position, you're going to have to fight for it. We see Wayne and G pulling over there to serve the penalty, pulling back onto the racing line again. And Dan Bailey, Dan Bailey's actually looking really strong. Closer right up onto the back of Vex again. Is he going to have the momentum coming down the start finish straight? The start of lap seven. Not looking like he's quite close enough yet. I think Vex may be still getting the advantage of the slipstream off of Brian Wilkarni ahead, so that's helping him out. Oh, as he closes right up onto the back. Oh, he's actually managed to sling it down the inside. That was a great move from Vex. I thought he was going to break himself, but he managed to get it on the inside. Managed to get it down the side of Brian Wilkarni. Brian McCartney wasn't sure what was going on there. I think he's on the back foot now. He's lost out of that place to Vex. Vex has moved up to second place. Dan Bailey's starting to try and challenge him though. Dan Bailey's in third. Trying to go the long way round. Vex is covering off that inside. Not quite managing to get it done though. Slowly approaching the 12 minute mark of this race. So we will have another three minutes left of this absolutely sopping wet wet race Dan Bailey looking for that move up the inside again not quite close enough I don't think he's going to be able to go for a lunge at least not in the wet anyway maybe in the dry he may have been able to go for a bit of a dive and get it stopped but although I say that we saw Vex do it on turn one he managed to get it past Brian Moncarney Brian Moncarney's actually dropped to sixth place now Dan Bailey, Dan Bailey being hounded by Wayne G. Wayne G wants that podium, but he's also getting hounded by a uh, boy Boosted, who's close right up onto the back of him and dropped off again. He's having, actually having to defend against Brian Moncarney as well. Oh, as Wayne G actually dips two, dips all his wheels onto the grass. It may have ended up in a spin, but he's a great driver, as we know. He managed to keep control of it. Still managing to stay just ahead of Brian and uh, Boy Boosted. Oh, Brian actually getting the move done and Boosted there. I think he's managed to get past him and he has. So Brian in that last two section of turns. Managing to get it past Boy Boosted. He's moved back up to fifth place. Boy Boosted still right there with him. Oh, and he's actually looking for the move. Boy Boosted looking for the move down the inside. It was nearly, nearly contact there. I think he backed out right at the last minute. Boy managing to hold that sixth position. No, fifth position for a minute. Boy Boost is still there in sixth. What a race this has turned out to be, ladies and gents. This is uh, definitely not the conditions you want to be racing in, but these guys making it work somehow. Boy Boosted trying to go around the outside. I think he might have got it done. Boy Boosted, he's actually got it done around the outside. That was a move there. Well done, Scotty Boy. You have got a 45 second penalty, so Brian might get through again if he manages to stay with you, but... Lovely move there from Boy Boosted. We've seen him do it a few times now. He managed to get one round the uh, round Vex at where was it? It was at Nurburg. Oh, it's Dan Bailey. Dan Bailey's off. Dan Bailey's lost that third position to Wayne G. Wayne G's promoted himself to third now. 
Van Bailey going a little bit deep into that last turn, ended up on the gravel. Boy Boost has gone through as well, Boy Boosted, gone through to four. He's trying to push his way past Wayne G. I don't think he's going to get it done like that. Wayne G won't, uh, he won't stand for bullying. As there is actually a lot of contact here between Boy Boosted and Wayne G. You're going to have to uh, try and rein that in a tiny bit, uh, Scotty. Moved off the racing line really late there as well. Brian Moncarni's actually gone through. Is it less like Scotty Boy's all sorts of out of shape there? Under the braking zone, I think he's going to pick up another penalty. That's unlucky, Scotty. Oh, and that's, de that's definitely a penalty there. That's a very, very wide line. Not having to worry about flash though, so I think he might be able to bring it over fifth place. Oh, so it's actually, so we have got people finishing now, so not managing to make it through to the final lap. We've got flashes finishing in sixth place. Dan Bailey, seventh. Hodgie is eighth. Molson, ninth. Grass off a tenth. Somerset Sarge is eleventh. Got Palmer and Ice Chan. Ice Chan not going to be able to manage to make it past Palmer, I don't think. So this is going to be how it finishes. Palmer is going to finish in twelfth place. There we go, he's finishing twelfth. Raj. Bit of show at the end there, nice little donut. Ice Chan finishing the 13th. We've got a ball with a race leader now. This is Toten. Absolutely dominating this race again, as he has done for most of the races in the uh, in the series is that he's taken part in. It'd be interesting, it'd be nice to see him in the uh, in the BTCC as well, see how well he does against some of our top tier League One drivers. Oh, huge slide there. Massive slide. Managing to hold it, though. That was a nice save there from Toten. I think maybe he's doing a bit of showboating himself. So as he comes around the last two turns, this is the final turn he's coming up to now. This is your race leader, this is Toten, a big slide again there on the exit of uh, the final turn. He's brought it home in first place, he's going to be the winner of race two, that is Toten. And Vexed, what a result for Vexed. Go on lad. Great one for Vexed there, bringing it home in second place. Brian McCartney, good result for Brian, third place. Boy boosted, fourth. Managing to get past Wayne G at the end there, not sure if there was contact or not, but... He's brought home the fourth place, Wayne G, Wayne G's there, he's in fifth. He's got the wiggle on again. And as I say, Flash finished sixth, Dan Bailey was seventh, Hodgie was eighth, Molson ninth, Grasshopper tenth, Somerset Sarge eleventh, Palmer twelfth and Ice Chan in thirteenth. So without further ado, I shall see you in the next race. I've been your boy Vex, good night.